we call this a killing cone, but the sticker actually says a restraining cone. We ordered this on Amazon, um, right? Yes. Oh, you want it this way? Um, how much was it? $40? Uh, yeah. Full disclosure, um, my husband didn't want to spend $40 on this, which I don't blame him. He was going to make his own, but um, a couple weeks ago, we had to cull one of the chickens because it got hurt, and not having this cone was not pretty. The whole um, running around like a chicken with your head cut off is a thing that, well, we actually tied the chicken up by its feet, and it just wasn't very nice to watch once it no longer had a head. It was pretty creepy, and I don't want to do that again. And then we've got our chicken plucker here. Um, do you know the brand name? Oh. Super handy chicken plucker. Also bought on Amazon, right? Yes. We had a hard time um, finding a chicken plucker, actually. Um, we ordered, let's see, we ordered our meat birds. February, March ish. We got them on May the 28th. And um, my husband had been looking for a chicken plucker ever since then. And I think just, um, I think people buying more chickens this year, people probably harvesting more chickens this year with the whole COVID and food supply issues and all those things. Anyways, we had a hard time finding a chicken plucker, but we were finally able to find one. Um, we actually went to Tractor Supply to see if they could find this one. And I guess they're on back order. Um, so I was very thankful to have this. Although, again, when we culled that one chicken, I realized how it's not very difficult to pluck the chicken um, after you um, scald it, but it would take a really long time to do 25 months by hand when this takes a couple of seconds. And it's a one-time purchase, and then you got it. So um, I'm very super. I'm very super excited <laughs> to um, to try it out. Um, which we just got a couple of days, and we'll try it out. And my husband was just saying, I guess this is considered a medium-sized cone. It's. I mean, to me, it seems like it's pretty large, but I guess there is larger for like turkeys and those kinds of things, and also smaller, what, for smaller chickens and quail and things like that? Okay. So it looks like this brand is Little Giant, and it is made in the USA, which is also always wonderful. So today is the day. It's chicken harvest day. Um, we've got our setup going on. We're waiting for the water to heat up for the scalder. Um, I'll take you over here and we can uh, look at our meat birds. So these are Cornish crosses. Um, we got them on May the 28th. Today is July, sorry, it's August. <laughs> Today's August. I think it's the 6th. I should have looked at the calendar before I came out here. These guys are kind of cranky because they're hungry. They love to eat and it um, seems like the recommendations are um, to keep them, to not feed them for about 24 hours before harvest. So this is usually around the time that they eat. They are definitely looking for their food. They look to be a good size. So this is the setup that we've got going. Um, we've got the restrain cone. Um, my husband just kind of rigged up a station where to his uh, sawhorse for temporary placement. So we don't really have anywhere we want to put it permanently. And then um, we've got the water heating up here for the scalding and then of course our chicken plucker 
and then we've got a table situated over here um, to go ahead and cut the birds up. We started with four, I don't know why I just said four, started with um, 25 Cornish cross birds. One, one got hurt so we went ahead and culled it by itself. So <laughs> we got one bird under our, under our belt and um, even though that situation wasn't the greatest, um, it helped because um, we were able to get practice on one. And um, quite honestly, all I've done is just watch some videos on how to um, butcher them properly as far as like cleaning up, cleaning the carcass, that kind of thing. Um, because I hadn't really done that before. So um, the process doesn't look very difficult. Um, so I think we'll do a good job. Working on getting the temperature up to 190. We've got a water canner boiler pot <laughs> on our own turkey frying burner. Got the chicken plucker all set up. Here we have a bucket with water and vinegar. I'm going to dunk them in and then just a bucket for the um, intestines and things and then we've got another cooler with just uh, plain water and then a cooler with water and ice. So we're finished. 24 birds. We've got basically three coolers full. We had to break out a third cooler. So we had a station set up here where we um, cut them up and um, so we kind of started assembly line at the cone and then dipped them and then the plucker and then brought it over to this table, you know, cut the feet off, uh, removed the the entrails and such and then uh, we had two food grade buckets one with uh, water and vinegar we dipped and then we had a second bucket of just water that we dipped and then we put it into the cooler full of ice water the shrink bags that we bought so we'll be doing that next I'm gonna freeze some of the chickens whole I'm gonna cut some of the chickens up well, our first chicken harvesting day is over. Um, we harvested uh, 24 chickens today, all Cornish crosses. Unfortunately, weighing them was an afterthought. I think just because um, today was the first day we had ever done it, we were just really involved in the process, you know, mentally. Um, so we put a lot in the freezer bags, the, you know, the whole chicken bags, and then um, I put, I cut a good bit up to, into breast, thighs, wings, and here's the majority of what we have in the freezer. I've got a little bit in the regular freezer as well, and um, I'm trying to remember what size freezer this is. We could probably stick another 20 birds in there if we didn't have these little baskets. I would say all in all it was a success. Um, the actual, um, you know, culling them and um, cleaning out the cavity and that kind of thing took about two hours. And you know, removing the feathers with the, the um, chicken plucker, um, and then putting them into bags and um, filleting them probably took another two hours or so. A lot of that was um, cleanup as well, and that was probably the most labor-intensive. 
because um, I don't know about you, but anytime we handle chicken, we're very, very careful about cleaning services and cleaning outside of bags, and um, my husband especially. So, um, you know, we had to scrub out all the coolers and that kind of thing, scrub down the table, um, just normal stuff. But like the cleaning part um, took a little bit of time. I think it went pretty smoothly, especially for our first time, and I feel like um, when we do it again, I'll probably be able to make a better video about it, um, but you realize how difficult it is to record when you've got chicken juice all over your hands. <laughs> um, anyways, I, I think it went well. It definitely makes me appreciate the food source. I'm thankful that um, the chickens were well cared for and um, they had a happy life while they were here and um, it was kind of a somber, kind of humbling experience um, to, to harvest our birds. Uh, first time we've done it so uh, we definitely have plans to do it again, and um, maybe next time we'll have a better video on it. Thank you so much for watching.